You got it, you got it. Pull up, pull up, pull up a shot. You got it, you got it. Pull up a shot. Yo, what is up, AD Team Austin Donald back again with another video. So this diet got me shredded. Guys, you know, I've been doing this for a minute. I've done a lot of cutting cycles, losing fat, and I was going back in my old YouTube videos one night just watching, and I came across one of my old videos. It was titled, My Summer Shredding Diet Full Day of Eating. And I was like, hmm, let me take a look back on how Austin used to eat. What was I eating in order to lose fat? And I was looking back at that video, and first things first, I was in a whole different time in my life. Uh, it was around three years ago. I was a sophomore in college. I was in a whole different financial situation. I was way lighter. I was 161 pounds and I was trying to lose fat. Crazy, right? And just the foods that I ate during the day were kind of similar, but still different than I do now. So I thought it would be interesting if I showed you guys that same exact diet that I did back in 2017 to get me shredded and I do it today with me being you know 12 13 pounds heavier me being in a different financial situation not in college I just want to see how I can do it and how I feel at the end of the day and plus this might you know help some of you guys out so let's get right into it all right so the first one and it's currently 9 50 a.m. calls for two eggs two whole eggs with a little bit of egg whites yeah right here so <laughs> i was watching the video and it's funny because the way that i did the eggs is i would grab the egg i would crack it on the pan mix it in and then it just i didn't measure out the egg whites either i just kind of just poured it in there so that's exactly what we're going to do i'm trying to follow this to the exact t and speaking of measuring, um, throughout this diet, I noticed that I didn't track my calories, so everything is pretty much an estimate. And I just pretty much ate how I felt throughout the day, how my body felt. So I feel like now my appetite is definitely higher. Like just eating two eggs, that's kind of weird for me. I usually nowadays eat four minimum, minimum, four eggs minimum. And I still, <laughs> To this day, get eggshells and eggs that I crack. After three years, I still have not learned how to crack an egg, guys. But let's go ahead and put these egg whites in there. So I said I just poured it to where it looks right. So I think I did about right there. I didn't do a whole lot. So we're gonna scramble with that and let it cook. Use some of this seasoning right here. I still keep my seasoning super simple. I don't like to. Add a lot of some, oh, that's kind of a little too much to be honest. But while that's handling over there, the next thing we're gonna have is I had one packet of this uh, oatmeal. This is fiber and protein. And pretty much it's the same as that one from three years ago. And I mix it with this protein granola, the same as that one that I have been having for years. And my favorite healthy fat of all time slash nut, and that is cashews. So that's gonna be a <laughs> pretty small portion. Like I said, just one pack usually is not enough for me, but once everything is made, we'll see how it turns out. Now it's time to add the cashews. I've always just added like a handful. So about that much, sprinkle it, bam. protein granola and I didn't add that much either it looked like so we're just gonna do like a few sprinkles okay. and you mix it all right the first one is now done not that big of a portion, but I feel like I'll be satisfied off this. Like I said, it's 10 a.m. right now. So the next one is actually like the pre-workout meal because there's four total ones in the day and we'll just take it from there. So update, it is around 1 p.m. right now and I've eaten about 
three, four hours ago. And to be honest, my hunger management levels have been quite good. But now it's time for the next meal, which is the pre-workout one. And let me show you what I ate back in 2017. So uh, I actually am gonna make a sandwich. So I have some deli meat right here. I've always gotten either the ham or the chicken breast and keep it the lower sodium kind. Put five pieces on there. And this bread I got, so I will go back between the life bread, which is like a lower calorie bread, and this one, which is Dave's Killer Bread, but the thin slice kind, which only actually has 70 calories in it. Good with whole grains, omega 3s, fiber, and protein. So we got that. We have a cliff bar. Oh, guys, I used to kill these cliff bars back in the day. This was my pre workout before I started taking pre workouts. So um, it's pretty, it's gonna be pretty nostalgic eating this one, especially since I got the same exact flavor, the chocolate chip. I'm gonna bite into it and it's gonna literally taste like 2016 because I don't think I've had this in like at least two years. And then we have the natural peanut butter. And that is because, oddly enough, alongside with the sandwich, I made myself like this piece of bread that's toasted with peanut butter on it. So I'm just gonna do that and I'm gonna get back to you. All right, so here it is guys. I ended up putting some mustard on there too. A little sad peanut butter toast and the cliff bars. It's been a minute since I had a deadly sandwich, I'm not gonna lie. Then also, big thing of water, still on my water stuff. Don't really drink calories like that, so let's taste it. It's been a minute. Yeah, tastes like 2016 to me. All right, we're back from the gym. About to have the post-workout, I already know. So the post-workout is actually super, super simple. It's a uh, cashew goline with a protein shake. So looking back, I didn't have this exact cashew goline, but it was very, very similar. And with the protein, I didn't, I wasn't buying these yet, these little portable ones. I actually mixed the scooper and mixed it in there. So looking back, I had about half a bowl and then just pour that in there. So if you watch any of my dieting videos, I actually still eat this sort of meal, but usually more in the morning, never in the afternoon. I usually have uh, more, something like that's cooked. You know what I mean? And one thing I realized with this diet too, is that I definitely did not eat a lot of vegetables back three years ago. I definitely eat a lot more greens now, a lot more fruits. So just keep that in mind as you are watching this video. But your boy is actually very, very hungry. We about to tear the cereal up. All right guys, this is nine o'clock PM on the dot. Stove is on, I'm warming up the pan because we're about to have some ground chicken. I'm gonna eat about half of this. So in the last video, what I had was actually ground, not ground, but chicken breast tenderloins. And I cooked it on a stove top with olive oil. But truth be told, I don't do that anymore. So I like ground meats just because it's way easier to cook. And you still pretty much get the same micronutrients 
in it. So I'm pretty much gonna make the same exact ounces that I did in the video. But as our carb source, we got the brown rice. Guys, I haven't eaten brown rice in so long just because I started opting out jasmine and basmati rice in all of my food now. I rarely ever eat brown rice. And I think during that time I ate a lot of brown rice because you know, the whole brown rice is healthier, brown rice has a better GI index, if you know what that is. So I'm gonna warm this up and then that will be the last one of the day. All right, here it is, the ground chicken, brown rice. It kind of blends in a little bit. And uh, also, I got some barbecue sauce of the little bit I got left, the Sweet Baby Ray's. And I noticed in that video too, I also used barbecue sauce. So nothing has changed there. But guys, overall, eating this diet today, after I eat this, um, hunger levels were actually pretty fine. The most hungry is I was, was after my workout today at the gym. But once I ate, I was good. Even now, not gonna lie, it could just be tonight. I'm good, like I'm not hungry right now. I could actually go without this, but I'm still gonna eat it. So in regards to the total calories of what this is, I would say it's anywhere between 18 to 2300, somewhere in that range for sure, uh, high protein. And honestly, not that far off to what I intuitively eat on a basis right now. But here's the thing, I, like I said, I'm about 12, 13, 14 pounds heavier, and I'm still at a low body fat percentage right now, which goes to show that, you know, for me, I feel like as long as my diet's, you know, decent and I eat my protein requirements, that it's more uh, important for me to focus on my training and progressing through that and training intensely, all right? So overall, you know, not bad, probably not something I would stick to because I don't like following, you know, certain meals each day. But hopefully you guys got some insight on how I was eating then and how it feels like to me now. Maybe you can try out some of these meals. If so, let me know down below. Subscribe if you're new. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.